just gonna get some liquid latex. Do you like my bottle that I'm pouring it in, by the way? <laughs> I'm gonna use an effect sponge to dab on the liquid latex, but you can use a brush if you want. Just use a brush that you don't care about because it ruins the brush. Take a strip of tissue and just put that on top of the latex, then dab another layer of latex over. I'm, I'm just gonna repeat that process again. Tissue on top and then another layer of latex to seal it in. Repeat that on the other side. Layer of latex, layer of tissue, another layer of latex, another layer of tissue, then one last layer of latex. Let that dry. Then I'm just taking a, an effects sponge and taking the smaller side and I'm just covering the edges of the tissue with a layer of latex to blend the edges from the tissue into my face. Let that dry. I'm taking a foundation that's like two shades darker than my skin, pumping two pumps on the back of my hand. Taking a beauty blender and I'm covering the tissue. Make sure also to go over your lips as well. Then take a foundation that's lighter than your skin tone and I'm just gonna apply that all over everywhere we just applied the darker one. Then I'm just gonna take my MAC translucent powder. I'm just gonna set all this foundation we put on because it's a lot of foundation and if you don't set it, it's all just gonna clump up. Then you're gonna take some scissors, but I'd recommend small scissors, unlike mine, like nail scissors, and you're just gonna cut along your mouth line up towards your ear. You're gonna kind of wiggle your scissors to get like it under the latex and like peel up the middle of the latex, then snip it because you need to be careful in case you snip your skin. So be careful. What I'm doing is I'm just literally gonna get some water activated face paint in dark red and I'm gonna put it inside the slits and make sure to fold under the flaps to get it underneath as well. Also put some of that face paint on your lips and smudge it out like an ombre. Take some black water activated face paint and do that underneath the flaps to add dimension like the wound is really really deep. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull apart the top of an effects sponge to give it some texture so that it looks really rough on the skin. I'm going to dab it into that dark red face paint and dab it all over the wound. Make sure to dab it on dry water activated face paint so it doesn't put too much onto your skin. You just want a light wash of it, not too much. What I'm doing is I'm just pulling the skin flaps down and up a bit so that they stay there and so they don't look too short, so they're a bit open. I'm taking thick blood, not gel blood, because this gives it a good consistency like there's dried up blood in the wound. And I'm just going to put that all inside of it. Then I'm going to take some wetter and thinner blood and I'm going to also put that in the wound, making sure to drip a bit over to the flaps. Then I'm going to take some more of that dried up water activated face paint and put it on my lips to make more of an ombre. I'm going to dip an exacto knife in some blood to make it look like I cut my lips with that. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed. It was a really fun video to film. Make sure to comment, like and subscribe. Make sure to go check out my last video 
and bye.